G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Elk Mountain. Thank you so much for all the support last week. You guys really enjoyed that video. This is going to be part two of the road build. Last episode was going to be, I can't believe it, episode eight, season one. Check out this big dog. How cool is this thing? This thing, I'll put the mod in the description. It is the Lizard 350. It's unreal. I reckon it's pretty cool. It's a very, very good looking mod. So we'll head down to the job site, guys. Oh, the boys got all the lights and signs. Lights and signs on. I was going to say lights and sirens, but lights and signs on. Look good. So I'll pull in here, stop the traffic up there. No flashing lights on. We're back in and uh, grease and fuel up 315. A few people have been asking who's the mod and who's. Is it private? Is it public? The mod is private. The mod link is in the description. That's who made it, guys. McTwist. Absolute legend of a bloke. Start her up. Chuck some fuel in her, eh? And some grease. Alright, she's all fueled up, ready to go, nice and greased. We'll bugger this uh, 350 off and we'll get straight into work, eh? How cool is this thing? It looks mint. Alright, let's get into it, eh? What? I hope we have enough soil. I don't know if we're going to have enough soil, but... We're getting there, though. We're getting there. The level's working well. The level is working very well. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but all I can say is, guys, we're going to finish this road today. Alright, so we're going to make sure... Lift the blade up. Now, we have to make sure we have... Terraform on material and discharge on flatten. Let's see how we go with this. So there's a few holes just here, so we'll scoop some dirt up. Oh man, this is going to work perfect, I think. So you will see, guys, I'm literally turning Terraform on and off. So when I scoop it up, I turn it off. And when I turn it, when I want to tip it out, I turn it back on. So look at the top right hand corner. So now I've turned it back on. Boom. Turn it back off. I have another scoop. Go a bit forward, eh? I oh, see. I stuffed it up. See that? Idiot. All right. Turn it back on. Oh, it's working a treat. Working an absolute treat. I just want to get this level done first along the edge here, and then we should be pretty good. I might even, at the end of the video, guys, I might even give you a sneak peek of the next video, what we're going to be doing. I'm pretty excited actually. Gonna be a pretty big job. Um, I think it's gonna be gonna be going over a few episodes, I reckon. So yeah, if you uh if you're still tuned in by the end of the video, I'll uh I'll give you guys a bit of a rundown on the next episode. And uh yeah. As well, guys, if you're enjoying the if you're enjoying the uh, videos as well, 
please leave a like leave a like and a comment the commenting the commenting helps out so much um helps the algorithm out so even if you just put an emoji in the chat like it's in the in the it helps out so much i put a lot of time and effort into these videos um so yeah if you guys can do that for me it'd be muchly appreciative and it makes it makes me drive to do more videos it honestly does and uh try to be creative try to be creative and try and work it all out oh see this is going to be per look at this let's get out and have a look so we have literally that that pile got us i reckon we're going to need more soil but that pile got us a little bit further oh it's going to be a treat man i'm so happy that terraform works this way now it never used to work this way and now it works perfect i want to try and get this soil out the way here so we can add a bit more at the same time i don't know if it makes you lose what soil you have there already if, you, if it goes underneath oh perfect so we'll be this episode we'll be roll we'll be grabbing the roller out as well and or the, the pad foot and we'll be rolling the soil in and then we'll be throwing some rock down spreading that out and then uh job will be done and then i'll take you guys up to the next episode i don't know if we're going to i really want to do the, I, I really enjoy doing the time lapse stuff because i can really zone into the game and and uh and not think and just keep playing but i know you guys enjoy commentary more um a little bit of a story to it you know what i mean i'm th i'm waiting for a new map to uh to come out start a new an actual proper zero to hero story um i'm super excited to do that uh might be a bit of a surprise i'm waiting for mctwist waiting to hear from mctwist is uh see the detail of this machine see the detail of this machine and everything he does he's actually making a map guys so i'm hoping to get my hands on it i know it's not complete he said it's not complete it's about 60 percent but hey if we can start a little bit start a little bit of a series and why he's building it up who knows well, might be perfect for us I'm wondering if we should get the skid steer. Have a shot in the skid steer. Let's see if the skid steer works. All right, so I'll throw that soil over there. Grab this bit here next to the pole. Grab this stuff here. And go turn that there. All right. Let's try the, uh, should we try the skid steer? Let's try the skid steer. Let's give it a crack. I don't know if this is going to work, but hey. All right, we'll make sure we got material. Let's give this a go, eh? Here we go. Let's dip it out. Oh, yeah, that works mint. Okay. So it does work. Uh oh. We're making a mess on the other side of the fence. We've got those silt, silt fences there. <laughs> Let's see, the bucket's not, not as big, so it take, it's going to take a little bit more time doing it this way, but. I think we're better off just using the fifth DNA. So it is working. So if you're if you can change your terra farm guys, your discharge to flatten or raise, uh, well, I've proved it works now. So my I have the latest 
the latest version of Terra Farm as well off FS Miner. The links are always in the description. I'm probably one of the only modders that uh, that does videos and puts the mod links in the description. Uh, not many people do it, especially the guys that do the time lapse stuff. They never put never put the time and effort in. Like I actually put a a little bit of a story and a little bit of a backline in 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 the videos as well in the description as well, guys. So make sure you read them. Um, some of them are funny. Some of them are just generic kind of stuff but I'll try and put the time and effort in dot guys because I, I I love doing this and um yeah the the support guys in the last in the last since I started I started in January 19th guys that's when I started doing this uh these videos when I first started editing it is now the 22nd of the third so two months I've been doing it for and I've been having an absolute ball and you guys have been crazy with the support i think we i think we've gone from 400 subscribers to 1200 in two months so i'm just yeah i think that's unbelievable you guys should be uh, proud of yourselves help me grow this channel oh look at this this is this is sick i can't wait to do more of this i've got like cut road cuts and all sorts we can do and guys, as well, let us know in the comments as well. Would you guys like to watch some IRL stuff? So me actually in another machine, like a real machine, and uh, vlogging it as at the moment. Like I own myself, I own a machine myself. It's only a baby, it's only a little one, but I've operated up to fifty ton. Um, if I get, if I end up working for someone, I'll end up grabbing. Uh, I'll end up being in like a bigger machine like I don't know like a 25 like a 25 tonner um so I'll try and do records of that as well but um I'm a landscaper by trade and I brought myself an excavator about 10 years ago and self-taught myself um and ever since then I've just walked into jobs I've never never do resumes and like that I just it's, it's quite funny it's just you end up just know know somebody about like, it's all what, what you, it's not what you know, it's who you know, really. Um, but if anyone ever wants to get into the excavation, excavation uh, business, it's very, very hard. You have to start off in, with a shovel pretty much and work your way up to a machine. Um, a lot of people these days don't like giving guys a go, which I can understand because it is time consuming and it's a lot of money if you wreck the machine or, you know, wreck a job as well um it's very easy to make a mistake and sometimes it's an expensive mistake so i can understand where these guys are coming from but yeah i uh i've got a myself i have a little i'll try and leave a photo in the description a link or i'll try and put it up on the screen for you but i've got a little komatsu pc18 which is spec to two ton and uh, I self-taught myself. I I purchased it. I got my license from trade school. My license, guys. You should. You guys would laugh. Oh, it's it's like there's no such thing as an excavator ticket, like a license. It's more of a competency uh, in Australia. And mine looks like I've made it myself. It is a laminated piece of paper from Swinburne TAFE. It's uh, it's quite funny. So I've had that license or the, the ticket since, I'm going to say, 2009. So I've been operating for a few years now. Um, I, lo I love it. I, honestly, I, I absolutely love machines. Um, without a word of a lie, my first words were excavator. Um, if you don't believe me, ask my old man. He, uh, he tells everyone. My old man got some work done at his house. Would have been, oh, I probably would have been maybe, maybe 12 years old. And, um, it was only a, it was a three ton Komatsu. Uh, not Komatsu, uh, Kubota. Uh, very, very old machine. And my old man was getting some big, a big cut done. 
uh, a couple of tiered walls and the guy took out 90 truckloads of uh, soil out of our property and uh, the guy just knew I loved machines he was kind of a family friend as well and he said uh, Ryan if you want to be an excavator operator anyone can dig a hole he goes what I want you to do while I'm gone I want you to learn to scrape and what he meant by that I'll try and do it while I'm outside the cab so you can see what he meant by that is doing this turn off collision so what he meant by that is doing this so have, having a scrape like that he's like if you can do that and do it level you can be an operator and uh <laughs> so yeah so he was saying make sure you do this if you can do this you can be an operator and um <laughs> he left me he dumped a load of soil off down the road and uh came back and i dug about a three meter deep hole <laughs> Uh, the funniest thing about that, though, was um, that's when my dad was putting his garage. And uh, put it this way, it was a nightmare for him to put the garage there because it was just an absolute swamp for years. Um, not that he was ready to do the garage straight away anyway, but uh, let's just say the footings were pretty big on that job just so he could get, <laughs> get, get it done. So it's a very wet area and we're right next to a creek and it's a bit of a causeway area and uh when the ground gets wet or it rains the seepage goes there at the bottom of the hill kind of thing they're like probably two or three houses away from where it gets to the creek so it's made an absolute it made an absolute nightmare it's just a swamp there for years and we had to put so much rock in the ground all because uh, I wanted to dig a hole when I was 13 years old, 12, 13 years old. All right, guys, we're going to have to get some... I uh, have to get another load of soil in here. But look at that. We are coming along very well. We might have to put... There's a few dips here, which is fine. We could probably run over that. With the grader, might be able to pick that up with the rock. So if you guys were here last episode... You guys would have seen that I left this full. If any of you guys in the comments operate, let me know uh, what your favourite machine is to operate. I'd be really intrigued to see what you guys have, uh, what you guys operate. So I've I've pretty much operated a lot of machines. I've gone from from posi tra posi track uh, or skid steers. A lot of people call skid steers. We call them posi tracks in uh, in Australia. But yeah, a lot of uh, skid steers. Um, I've had a small shot of a small dozer. Um, I've done a lot in excavators, uh, from big to small. Um, probably my favourite machine would be a Kamatsu 228. Probably my favourite machine I operated. I like the way the Kamatsus uh, move. They're a lot of people don't like them because they're slow, but I think you can be very fluent on a Komatsu, um, in my opinion, anyway. I've operated a lot of Hitachis. Hitachis are fast as well, very fast. They're crowd, so when you... This is crowding. Uh, they crowd very, very quick, and they take a lot of people... Uh, a lot of people by surprise. If you guys like the time-lapse stuff, let me know. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is releasing... One time lapse video a week and one of these videos a week with commentary. Oh, this is working out perfect. I don't even. I don't know why I have not done this earlier. I honestly don't know. And as well, guys, what in the in the comments below? Let me know what would you rather. If you want me to be uh, cockpit view like we are now, or outside view. Um, some people have preferences. I'd rather operate from in here because it feels a bit more realer. Um, and you can see what you're doing. Oh, this is this is working so good. I'm so happy.
That might be, uh, that might be, might be us. Let's have a look. So we want to come in on this reflector here. Yeah, that's plenty enough. Plenty enough. Alright, we'll track this 315 out. Track this 315 out and we'll, um... Bring the skid steer in. How good does this mod look? It's such a good looking mod. Let's jump in the skiddy and we'll see what we can get. Done here. All right, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna have it on flatten and flatten. You can see in the top right hand corner and we'll see how this uh, works out, works in our favor or not. We'll go get uh we we'll go get rid of this this moxie and we'll go get a load of rock. Alright, let's uh let's run some rock out. I think we'll only need the one load. Alright, let's get this load to the job. All right, beautiful. Let's uh, chuck this rock down, and we'll spread it out, and do the final lift, and we should be okay. All right, let's start tracking. Hope this is gonna be enough rock for the job. We might need another one more load. All right, we're on our second load now, guys. This should be just enough. And then we'll get the grader out and we'll level it all out. Roller it and then we should be sweet. Look at that. Perfect amount. Stoked. I'll oh, get the grader out. Alright, we've got the grader out ready to go. Let's see how this works. Working an absolute treat. Absolutely perfect. I will right, get the roller onto this now, and then we should be nearly ready to drive on it. All right, guys, job's complete. Let's uh, let's give it a demo. I think it come up pretty well. 
Pek bir şey ya. Absolutely fantastic. Looks amazing. All right, guys. Let's give you a sneak peek of the next job. I've got big plans for this area. So, guys, get excited. This is going to be a pretty cool job we're going to do. I'm looking forward to doing it. That's going to be a wrap, guys, for uh, episode 9 of Elk Mountain. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. And I'll consider subscribing so you catch us on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.